What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share something that I had recently started doing with my PLA waste. I'm totally not the first person to do this by the way, but just thought I would share my experiences with it. And that is turning PLA waste into like a desk ornament or something like that using a silicone mold. Specifically, uh, I bought this one online. You can see I've, <laughs> I've used it already, but uh, it is a skull silicone mold. I spent like $9 on this and it's completely reusable um, on Amazon. And it's super cool that you you just dump your PLA waste in the top of it here and stick it in an oven. I actually used a little toaster oven that my wife and I were about to throw out anyways, so I had another purpose uh, of using it to melt some plastic. So I ended up putting it in there for like 325 and just loading it up to the brim. It melted down and then I just kept adding more and more and more until it finally got full. I will say, I ended up getting it up to roughly like 425 degrees Fahrenheit before I was able to get like all the bubbles out of it and all the air out of it. So if you wanna speed it up a little faster, 425 was my sweet spot. Though you can play with those temperatures, I was slowly melting it at like 325 and then once I bumped it up to like 425 when it was all said and done, that's what I kind of left it on. That being said, let me show you what the end result looked like. So this is my little skull guy. You can tell I had a ton of different colors uh, over the past year. Now, something to keep in mind is I only had roughly around a filament box full of uh, PLA waste. Hold on, I'll show you what the size of those look like. So basically I had like this polymaker filament here and I had this like full to the brim um, with PLA waste. So however much fit in here plus a little more made this guy up. So something to think about though is this since this is like kind of open at the top here, you're not gonna have like a perfect flat surface. So I do have a little bit of a bulge here that I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna use, use a heat gun and kind of uh, like press it down to get it um, perfectly flat, but it's heavy, man. Like this is, this is pretty cool. It's awesome to see like all the colors I've used over the past year and how they kind of melt into one. So I'm thinking about uh, like marking this one as like January uh, 2024 and then over time just continue to make these and just keep them on my shelf. Cause I can look at the colors that I have here and remember specific projects of why I use that color or what I printed in that specific type of filament. And I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but there's this one part right here in the eye too that actually has like layer lines in it from like a, an old print that I, that I guess it just didn't melt all the way, but I guess like I had thrown in there to just kind of melt it down. So that's, that's really cool too. But yeah, there's a ton of these online, uh, specifically just any like food safe molds that you could buy, like silicone molds, I'm sure they would work. This one I actually typed in like 3D silicone mold. I'll link it down in the description below. If if you want to pick this up yourself but yeah i'm sure that it would work it once it's like super hot it doesn't seem to like stick very much if you were to get it on the outside of the of the silicone mold so don't worry about that like i've got some here on top that i'm literally just able to to pull off there so not bad at all but yeah this was super fun just thought i would share in case you were interested in doing something like this yourself because i know a lot of you people with bamboo lab machines have the same issue of a lot of purge materials that you just don't know what to do with. So this is a good option. Thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.